Hi, everyone. Welcome to Go To Book Club. I'm Samia Rahman, and our book today is Designing Data Governance from the Ground Up. And I'm super excited to talk to the author. Welcome, Lauren. I think it's really important to define data governance when you start the conversation, just like I think it's really important to define what you're talking about when you say AI, uh, because everyone assumes that we all know what we're talking about when in truth we're talking about wildly different things in many cases. So I define data governance as your strategy for managing the people, processes, and tools that help you assess and govern your big data at scale. And big data is another loaded term that I almost dislike using because it is so ubiquitous that it, it, it's everywhere and seems to be nothing. Everyone needs to make data their business to uh, drive the business forward or accomplish that value prop they're looking to uh, get done. Our systems for managing this data are outdated and just not suited to the velocity of data that exists today. And the reality is that data is going to play a larger and larger role in all of our jobs. Even if the concept of governance is not new, that velocity of data, that volume of data is new. And so we've always needed data governance. I think uh, before it was easier to brush it off and, and say, no one's going to notice if we don't do this. Uh, it's going to have minimal effect if we do this. And now it's a runaway train. And I'm hoping that the book can help leaders in charge of solving it do that. What I've observed in my career is either there are data governance uh, bodies that have been there for over 20 years and no one really codified it into a book. It's also there's some, uh, I think, shifts in thinking, right? Big data has or large volume of data has disrupted how we're thinking about managing that data effectively. And then the second part is a lot of people either let it accumulate it as debt is how I see it. If I could distill that down and the six chapters down into one takeaway, I hope it would be that everything you do regarding your data strategy has to align back to the fundamental reason why your business exists. And if you don't know what that reason is, uh, you have to get really clear on that really fast. Even though this book is written for data, data decision makers, uh, uh, you can't do this work alone. And a big part of it is the what product managers are familiar with and even data scientists are familiar with, which is leading without direct authority. I, I want to shift into the last two chapters of your book, uh, governance driven development that really piqued my interest. Um, uh, my uh, understanding and the thing that I've been always trying to uh, ask others to take the mindset of is shift left on governance, do it at point of creation of any application, any process, etc. In that chapter, you mentioned uses Netflix as an example of an organization that I think did an exemplary job embedding uh, governance into the technical environment. Um, they were it, they were trying to implement a new streaming service architecture at a time when that technology was very new, largely unproven, uh, very supported by open source before it became commercialized. And the big thing that stuck out with me when I was reading this blog post uh, from the engineering lead at Netflix who led this effort was that he he literally created an environment where he gave his team and his data stewards room to fail. What are some of the anti-patterns or failure modes that you're seeing that people should avoid and they should be taking uh, your guidance from the book to address them? Um, I think I mentioned earlier, I've, I've been in organizations where they started, it crashed, started Started, it crashed and then the fourth attempt they made some traction on governance. Gartner is really a leader in assessing where organizations are, where different markets are and specifically doing data maturity assessments and for 
years now, the volume of data has only continued to increase. Meanwhile, the number of leaders and organizations who say they're data driven is actually decreasing in many surveys. And so I, I really worry that we would only be doing to data product managers what we've done to data scientists for years, which is that we sell them this really cool job uh, where they're going to build all these really interesting models and instead they clean spreadsheets 80% of their day. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.